to any bar, any restaurant, grab a glass mm -hmm. like this. He'd put a ball underneath the glass like that. He'd move it around, and he'd say, where's the ball? Right. Well, that's, that's a mistake because... Yeah, he lost a lot of money at first. Yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> not a bright guy. Yeah. He said, hey, I'll wrap the glass up in a piece of newspaper like this. Now it's a little bit more of a sporting proposition. Ah, that's right. You can't see underneath the, the glass there. Now you play a very, very simple uh, gambling game. Let me bind this up and here. You put the ball in his pocket. You had to guess, is it in the pocket or under the glass? Now, it sounds easy. Yeah, it does. But, but of course, he cheats. Uh -huh. You know. Oh, my God. And trying to misdirect you. What's the one? Hey, hey look, it came, yeah. out of, it came out of the wall. And it's not that easy to follow. No, you know? oh my so God. How about that? Yeah. Now you have to choose between the hat, the glass, or the pocket. It's the same color as the end of the stick there, so yeah. don't let that confuse you. Okay. You know, a lot of times. And don't guess. Focus. Don't, don't guess. That's how they get you. If you, if you, if you guess, you can't possi possibly... Uh, there, was, there was a little white... Uh, yeah, well, you busted it. Wait a minute. It, oh. There, yeah. Oh, it's right. Yeah, sorry. I'm... Under the hat. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. It came right off of the... Wait a minute. The other one's gone now. Look, they're both on this... Why? What are you trying to pull? Anyway, yeah. the point is, the, it, the ball's not even in the pocket. No. It's not under the hat. It's no. not under the glass. That's an orange. That's a different... <laughs> How about that? Uh, Hi, what's your name? Bryce. Bryce. Thanks for coming up, Bryce. Bryce, the reason I picked you... Looks like you have an honest face. <laughs> First demonstration, I need you to deal $11 on the palm of my hand out loud so everyone can hear. Would you? One at a time, 11, right there, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten eleven. 11. Perfect. And the rest on the table where I can keep my eye on them. Don't take this personally. <laughs> I, I have to check. It's, it's just a formality. Yeah. But yeah, don't be offended or anything, but it has to be exactly 11 and it won't uh, work. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, oh, no big deal. If you just give me one more. Just one. Thank you. 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 10. Did I drop it? Can I have one more? Pretty, pretty loose with my money there, right? I'm too big to fail. Keep them coming. Okay, all right. Sometimes I forget the part where you put back the two, and that leaves me with 11. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not doing anything, I swear. Uh, right up front, they're in the alleyway. They pull the old pigeon drop. You see a guy with a bunch of cash, you say, this is a dangerous neighborhood. You shouldn't be carrying all that cash. He just happens to have an envelope. Gives you the envelope. You can put it in the envelope yourself. You can seal it yourself in this efficient and sexy manner. <laughs> and then he takes it from you, and that's when it happens, because he switches the envelope. He demonstrates. He says, here, tuck it down your pants like that. Nobody can see it. Nobody can get to it. It's completely safe takes it out, hands it back, you go, wow, what a great guy. He's looking out for me. Yeah, you don't realize until you get home, he switched the envelope. And all you got left is a bunch of torn newspaper. Wow.